I think it's, it's now time to bring in uh, Manoj, our, our India expert. Um, so Manoj, can you explain what happened with Indian production in, uh, in 2020 and then go on to give us um, you know, some insight into why you think um, that production won't recover significantly in 2021? Uh, thank you, Tom. Uh, when you ask me <clears throat> what happened in 2020 as a farmer, yeah, it's very, very, very difficult uh, when, when you are dealing in farming and that too, mostly the rural area, uh, based stream farming. What actually happened when uh, our uh, the government has declared a complete lockdown on March 22nd? And uh, if you see the pattern of stream farming in India, Andhra Pradesh, which is the mainstay of stream farming in India, starts uh, seeding in the in the mid of January. So when already the lockdown was declared, the cropping pattern was already 50, 60 days old in Andhra Pradesh. And we, when you see the rest of the India, where, where I am I am living like Gujarat, West Bengal and Odisha, mostly their shrimp farming and pond preparation starts in, in mid-March. So the moment the lockdown was declared, a complete lockdown, for next 40, 45 days, it was a very, very horrible situation. There was no communication, there is no roadways, motorways, railways, or not even the, uh, the airways. Because the seed which is transported to Gujarat is all mostly comes from the, the airways, air freight. So suddenly everything locked down and then slowly, slowly we have realized the after effects. But one nice thing happened within two weeks that government has given the priority to sector for as an essential commodity. And that has given some, some uh, uh, freedom of movement. But since whether it's a hatcheries or a processing plants or whether it's a farms, there are all rural waste. And there was an obligation when it comes to like labor movement, uh, vehicle movement, because each and everybody had the fear factor because villagers were very much opposing even for the movement of labors for uh, uh, in and out of the factories. So that was a very, very big, big challenge when it comes to India uh, amid lockdown. And also because when, when, when India gear ups for the January, February crop in Andhra Pradesh, so mostly the brood stocks comes in from December, January. So uh, I think 100,000 pairs they comes in January, February and, and the live, live feed supply was very much, you know, limited. And that has resulted in the, the, the seed effect, the quality of the seed effect. And then what happened in COVID, especially the other states, for example, if Andhra Pradesh is producing 50% of the India, so other states like uh, Gujarat, Odisha, West Bengal, they also contributing 40% to the bucket. So they they largely affected and the crop was delayed by another 40, 45 days. And, and what happened in Andhra Pradesh because of the panic situation, lot of farmers, they have gone for the panic harvest in the month of uh, April. And that has resulted uh, in, in severe uh, demand and supply scenario, the price drop, uh, the restrictions from the government, uh, the, the labor restrictions, the social obligation, all, all, all came together at once and because also the in the processing plant or whether it's uh, in in the, any industry there was a social distancing norms we cannot keep uh, you cannot m m work more than 30 percent of the labors so all all has really really affected very bad each and every segment of the shrimp farming industry but when it comes to shrimp farming the farmers are always on the very receiving end whatever happens good bad or ugly the farmers has to receive that so, so what happened, uh, most of the farmers uh, looking into the panic situation in Andhra Pradesh, especially Gujarat farmers or the lack of the seed and all, our, our first crop was almost wiped out. And then we started getting the seed from the month of May end and June. And this is how the second crop of uh, Gujarat, Odisha and West Bengal have started. But, but if you see the quality of the seed and uh, also the brood stock, whatever was there, li limited availability, so the it has majorly affected us in the month of june july because because weak seed there was continuous running mortality issues in gujarat the temperatures and all have club so that has severely affected even the per pond productivity of gujarat so that's where you can see there is a drop of 20 percent in 2020 and if you're asking me what is my take uh, uh, for the 2021 i will very honestly say it's like a murphy law we started late the crop had been delayed and the second crop of Andhra Pradesh has been delayed and last 20, second crop of 2020, they were supposed to harvest uh, in, in December, been delayed by almost 40, 45 days. 
so you can see lot of hatcheries has to drain out the seed in the in the month of uh, february so this is what i see that there is a further delay uh, pattern but i am very hopeful uh, as robin says that definitely the second first crop will be delayed when second crop is as as per the time we may make up back uh, at least by 10 to 12% so you can see in 2020 not maybe not the figure of uh, 0.8 million ton but uh, definitely we can go back with a positivity of say another uh, 700000 tons in 2021 that's what my take well well manoj what do you think of, uh, of you know india potentially uh, hitting a million or even 1.4 million you know tons as the, as the government has kind of uh, you know said do you think that that is actually a viable target with the industry structured um, as it is or or do kind of you know major changes need to be made in the industry to get there and if so what are those changes so tom let me be very honest because uh, i have been into farming for almost now 27 30 years so um, on an outset i will say yes india has definitely a potential to even produce 2 million tons there is no doubt about the potential and the resources but the question is that as as robin says can we afford it can we sustain it can we make it profitable so that is very 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 big thing for us because if you see up to 2010 india was an out and out was a monodon country and on an average we have never produced more than 70000 ton unless and until vanami was introduced into our country and if you can see uh, uh, the data uh, you, you you shared in your presentation in 10 years you could see india has every year has add on more than 100000 ton it was in 2010 uh, 100000 ton to 200000 in 2012 uh, 15 in 2015 we are almost uh, uh, 500000 ton and like that in 2018 19 we already crossed uh, 0.8 million so definitely yes but what i do agree with uh, uh, mr robins that if you see what what really matters in the farming is the current capacity as india has already been uh, uh, entering into the fourth fifth decade of shrimp farming we need to uh, understand the current capacity and go and uh, improve our technology second thing when it comes to the resources yes when we talk about the world sea india is only that as a potential of 1.2 million hectare for brackish water shrimp development but it is absolutely wrong the re- recent recent uh, macro level survey of uh, india has clearly indicated that we have more than 8 million hectares of inland saline areas which are highly suitable for uh, taking up inland shrimp farming we can see the development in our northern states like haryana punjab which is which has really adding uh, um, to the to the to the growth of the industry and last but not the least our indian government has recently uh, prioritized this sector and they have launched the uh, uh, aquaculture infrastructure development fund and also the pradhan mantri matsya sampada yojana so their their motive their objective is to double the production double the farmers income and double the exports so definitely if if proper uh, all 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 thing is uh, we can we can definitely we has the potential to produce 1.4 but last but not the least india is oh, india is 1.3 billion population if 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 you see china if you see thailand if you see vietnam it is well supported by the domestic market but when it comes to india our farmers are absolutely not supported in the domestic market they, when it comes to shrimp the domestic market in india is very negligible but on the other hand i will tell to the panel that india is producing 15 million tons of freshwater fish and locally consuming in india without even 1 or 2% exporting to the world so so when we say that india doesn't have a domestic market is is absolutely wrong we don't have the domestic market for the shrimp and the government is taking an extra care even the farmers are taking now last 2 3 years they have been very much in line with the domestic market if another 2 years if the domestic market really picks up i think india has the potential to surprise the world even by crossing 1.5 million tons that's what my take thanks thanks manoj um Right. I wanted to also ask you a bit about um about pricing because you know you you I I I used a, a chart which you'd sent me um which is very interesting showing that the um you know the uh, cost of production comes down dramatically if um if the size you know the, the shrimp's going to a larger size but isn't it the case that really 
um, the Indian, Indian industry is kind of set up around producing smaller size shrimp for the US market. So does a sort of, a, you know, how, how, how does the industry kind of deal with that sort of um, contradiction, I guess? Tom, uh, when we talk about India as in a whole, but India is a very big country. When we talk about shrimp farming in Andhra Pradesh has a different perspective. Shrimp farming in Gujarat has mm -hmm. a different perspective. When we talk about Odisha, West Bengal, they are, they are two very different states. For example, I will tell you, Andhra Pradesh, everything, there's 500 hatcheries are situated, almost 90% of them in Andhra Pradesh, East Coast. So the seed cost, the feed cost, the, the electricity cost is almost a very, very affordable and uh, level it is available to Andhra farmers. Whereas in Gujarat, our feed cost is almost uh, 30 cents higher. The, the, the PL cost is double than the Andhra Pradesh. So Gujarat, West Bengal, Odisha cannot afford to produce what Andhra Pradesh is producing. So, so we cannot compare apple and oranges. It's, it's very difficult for us when you compare Andhra Pradesh and our Gujarat. But then also what I mean to say, India is on a whole divided into uh, a crop calendar. So generally Andhra Pradesh starts in January, February and they harvest in uh, uh, May, June. Whereas in our rest of the India, they, they go for March, April stocking and they June, July, August. So 8 lakh tons of shrimp in India is almost harvested in the month of May, June, July, August, four months. So the demand and supply, it plays the major role in pricing. If, if I'll, I'll tell you in, in June, in June to August, the price for 30 count is average farm gate. I'm not telling you the export price. The farm gate is hardly $5. And if you if you take 40 count, it is almost four and four. If you take 50 count, it is 3.7. And in, in, in our area, we cannot, farmers cannot make money if they want to harvest uh, shrimp less than 20 gram. But in, in, in surprisingly in Andhra Pradesh, even for 100 count, the farmers still make some money. So price is depends upon the calendar year of the harvest and demand and supply. Right now, when I'm talking to you last season, to me as a farmer, for 50 count, we I got hardly uh, for Indian Indian rupees we can say 240, so so roughly three and 3.3 US dollar. But today for the same count I am getting almost uh, one dollar more because there is no shrimp in our area. So it is it is more in that. So it is very important even uh, uh, when you compare India in Andhra Pradesh and other states are very different in, in the cost of production, the efficiency of production, and also the, the price availability to them. This is what I'm, I'm, I'm meant to say. Um, well, Manoj, maybe you can give us a, a bit of a sense of what, what's on the agenda for, for Mayank this year. What, what are you, um, you know, planning to do with the business this year? Are you, you increasing, are you looking to increase your production? See, <clears throat> right now, so because uh, I'm doing shrimp farming from last almost three decades now. I have seen the rise and fall in uh, Monodon era. Also, I'm seeing a very big uh, Venami tsunami in India and again, then there's a fall. So what I understood, you know, uh, during Monodon also, uh, when India in my area, when the average rates were very low. So I used to grow very bigger uh, size Monodon, even uh, 50 gram, 60 gram uh, Monodon and used to make uh, double the profit. So the same on same trend when Venami came into my farm. So in 2011, I was the one uh, who started the concept of farming Venami the Black Tiger way because our in entire infrastructure and everything was suited for Monodon and we didn't upscale that infrastructure. So 2011 to 2016, 17, uh, I, I literally made very good money by growing very big Venami in this area. But now since you see as the production increased in our country and we need to deal with the international market, now the size is, uh, preference is getting down to 50, 60, 70 preference. But in, in my particular area, because of the, uh, the input cost, high input cost, I'm not able to really produce the small count with that profit margin to survive. So recently I have um, developed my own hatchery. I have already developed my own, uh, as Robin said, multi-phase indoor. And uh, my planning this time is not to follow the regular program, regular rut where each and everybody is going for the same season and again producing within the four month. So last season I did a very good trial in my, my three-phase system where PL4 is reared up to PL15 and PL15 to PL35 into a second phase. and. PL35 to 60 days into the farming. So uh, 
producing shrimp in uh, off season is uh, is is what uh, I'm looking to to have a better price and better profitability. So I have uh, almost uh, 150 to 200 hectares of uh, shrimp farming. So, but I'm a big big fan of um, monodon. So I, I still believe that uh, black is still beautiful and it's going to really get back to India. So this year I'm trying back uh, another 50 hectares into uh, monodon because since the Moana, the SPF has come to India. So this season I will definitely try and try to get it into the bigger sizes. Uh, so that is more profitable, uh, whatever happened in last 10 years for me. And now all depends upon that. But definitely my target is... Uh, to have a small period in the farm because as Robin says, definitely there is uh, uh, um, old diseases and new diseases are coming up and it's becoming very, very difficult. Uh, in Indian scenario, I will tell you, summer, the Vibrio is killing, the bacteria is killing the shrimp. In monsoon and winter, white spot is killing the shrimp. So we need to find a genuine uh, escape way to survive. And that what I feel as a farmer, shortest the crop is better the survivability. So we, when you have a seed in uh, multi-phase and then you transfer it to uh, the pond, so you get an assured uh, crop in uh, 80 to 100 days. That's what I'm looking and my target is to produce almost 1,000 tonne this time in my farm. And Manoj, what are you anticipating in India um, price-wise this year? Because, um, you know, if production is, is, is kind of a bit sluggish, as you, you and Robbins have, have forecasted, and demand is strong, um, is it not likely that prices for raw material in India could increase quite substantially, potentially? See, hon honestly, uh, uh, I I'd like to add that, you know, Indian, in, if you see the world market, it is categorized in three, the premium market head-on and the uh, and the PD, PDTO and the value addition. India is very poor in uh, the value addition part. It's, and we need to, our packers need to understand that unless and until we add on uh, the scale of value addition in line with Vietnam, we will definitely not able to get the the appreciation in the price. And when you talk about uh, supplying uh, a small count shrimp, uh, that can be very, very much possible in from Andhra Pradesh and all. But when it comes to my part of the country, when I talk from Gujarat, Odisha, to, to supply shrimp uh, right now, that present competitive price will be a big setback to the farmers. So I think uh, the, the farmers, the packers, they need to get in line with each other, try to understand, try to integrate and look for the new markets where, where and maybe, maybe we also need to think back to go back to Europe because a lot of issues, uh, Indian issues are there with Europe. But if the Europe um, market gets open up, then definitely we'll have uh, premium prices for our head-on products. So that is where if you, if you get into a right market, right group, definitely that price realization will pass on to the farmers. That is what I think. But in the present scenario, if you don't look into the new markets, the new aspects, value addition, then I think we need to survive with this, what offers from the international market. Um, leaders asking, um, will Ecuador get to the 1 million metric tons sooner than India? Um, which I guess it'd be good to get a, 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 you know, everybody to, to give an answer to that. And then also, you know, if you don't think it's going to be Ecuador or India, say who it's going to be. I mean, as, as I said, definitely India has a potential to even cross 1 million metric ton, but uh, as a farmer, I will not advise right now that we should gear up to um, get into the race of who is the first. Mm -hmm. Maybe India maybe can be second, third in the line. But uh, I think unless and until it makes sustainable and profitable for the industry, we should not rush to produce more. I think that's what uh, my message is to my farmers. I think I think, but definitely you ask me, India has a better potential than any other country to cross the one million mark. Yeah, but it should be a um, qual quality and quantity. Yes. Right now, focused. right now, system is not geared up, and we are not prepared to handle that production. Yes, if we, if we, I, I'll, I'll tell you, we, uh, our our domestic market is highly underrated. If the government really push and the farmer association really pick up the domestic market uh, arena, India has a potential to consume. Uh, mm. 1 million metric ton in the country because we are already consuming uh, 14 million to that, um, metric tons of fish domestically. So mm. that, that's where it's a very big market. Yeah.